In this video I will try to update my Kobo Libra H2O to the latest co-reader version called Cherry Blossom. So let's begin! So co-reader has today released a new update for the co-reader software for Kobo e-readers and other e-readers. So let's start by checking out my desktop with the web page where Kobo shows what's new with this release and as you can see it's called Cherry Blossom 2023 March. So this is the new latest release and as you can see there is a lot of fixes and uh, new features and a lot of cool stuff with this release. So let's see if I can do a update of my Kobo Libra H2O by just uh, choosing update. So let's go to my table cam here. So here we have my Kobo Libra H2O. So if I start from here we have at the top here we have a menu to the right hamburger menu click on that and you see the update field click on update field and here check for updates so let's see if I can update my Kobo Libra H2 to the Cherry Blossom release. To do that, of course, you need Wi-Fi. So turn that on. I have that in the settings of Kurida that it turns Wi-Fi off when you don't need it. So to update the Kurida software, I need to have Wi-Fi. And as you can see here, do you want to update? Install version 2022. And now there is a, an available version 2023 March. So I choose update. Now it starts to update the Kobo Libra H2O. And I have plugged it into power because I usually do that when doing big updates. It feels safer that way. It's not having a contact to my computer just power a power plug so uh, this is over wi-fi only but i have power in just in case so now it's ready to install i click install like so now it updates Update successful. Co-reader will start momentarily. So now it should be updated. So now we have the latest software of Co-reader installed. That's really nice, I think. Uh, I'm not sure if I can check that, but we can check by doing this check for updates to see if we are on the latest co-reader is up to date so that is how easy it is to update to the latest co-reader software for your kobo device very very nice and i must say co-reader is a very advanced ui operating system if you can call it that for your kobo e-reader but it has some nifty features. You can transfer books wirelessly, for example. That's really nice to do from Caliber on your computer to the Kobo e-reader. And you can also transfer in other ways wirelessly or by cable. And I have a lot of videos showing that on my channel, so you can go check that out. But uh, this was just an update. Another Thing, thing that I think is great with the co-reader software is actually this uh, status bar at the bottom here. 
you can add a lot of cool statistics and so on in that status bar you can add a lot of different stuff i have these features uh, so you can see how many pages left and how much time left of every chapter and the book and all that so this is really good with the co-reader software on your kobo device and i must say that co-reader is really fast this uh, is a kind of slow device the kobo libra is too pretty old but anyway you can flip between pages really really fast as you can see and you have a lot of different options to choose from so you can do different settings for every book and other stuff you can do a lot of cool stuff and you also have really nice features and settings to do at the top a lot of different stuff you can do I love that so the co-reader software makes your Kobo device feels new again and a lot faster and snappy so I like the co-reader software for that and as I said wireless transfer is a huge plus but uh, my Amazon Kindle can do wireless transfers out of the box though but having co-reader on a Kobo device makes that possible for a Kobo device too so so that was it I think so this was just a short video to show you how you can update to the latest co-reader software from your Kobo device totally wirelessly no need for any cables and just click update very easy to do okay bye